Stephen Cahill has worked at the Guam Homeland Security Office of Civil Defense for the past three years. And today, he is filling in as the acting public information officer for the agency, tasked with keeping the island protected. We're a little bit short-staffed, so we're just trying to help each other out, and uh, I was able to uh, step in. Cahill this week has issued out press releases from Guam Homeland to include, informing the public that there is no threat to the Marianas from the latest missile launch out of North Korea. His temporary position, however, now causing his case in the Superior Court of Guam to resurface. As we reported, Cahill was a teacher with the Guam Department of Education in 2015 when he was accused of sleeping with a former student. The child was 17 years old. Prosecutors in the case alleged he recorded himself with the teen having sex before the video was circulated on WhatsApp Messenger, but the more serious charges were tossed. In 2018, Cahill pleaded guilty to official misconduct as a misdemeanor. At the time, prosecutors told the court they would have been able to prove that Cahill knowingly had sexual relations with a minor had the case gone to trial. Fast forward to today. Cahill briefly spoke with KOAM at the Guam Homeland office in Aganya Heights, saying he's since moved on. I have no comment at the time. I mean, um, you know, I've uh, done what I needed to do to move forward, and we're all about moving forward and doing the right thing. No doubt Cahill is proof that someone can learn from their mistakes, even if it includes breaking the law. But the law to hire government workers with a criminal past needs to be tightened, according to Senator Joanne Brown. It's an effort she first brought up during her previous term. Last year, the bill did finally receive a public hearing. However, it never was reported out of the committee. I understand it was a couple votes short. Uh, of senators in that committee that did not vote on the bill to report it out, and there was no action taken in the last legislature. She reintroduced a similar measure, Bill 30, in the 37th Guam legislature in February and is still waiting for her colleagues to have a public hearing with the hopes that it will pass this time. It's really unfortunate because of all the bills we address in the legislature, I think this particular bill, as, as simple as it is, it's not a very complicated bill, but I think it sends out a very important message, and I think it's important for all of us, no matter what capacity we work with in the government of Guam, we're all government officials, and if we have taken an action in our respective position to do something so wrong or so irresponsible that we get convicted of official misconduct, I don't think those individuals should ever be hired in a capacity in the government of Guam to serve our people ever again. It's not saying people can ever be employed again, they just can't be employed in a public capacity of which they're serving the people, especially when they already had that opportunity and they misused it and abused it. Meantime, Cahill will remain acting PIO until July 24th. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News.